everybody. Welcome to EA Sports. A tremendous night of American Hockey League action in store for you this evening. Let's drop the puck. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Phantoms have won the draw, and we are now underway. Lehigh Valley's got the puck against the half wall. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Brooks. Moves the puck. Taken by Hinestroza. And it's a quick pass to Abadonato. Takes it up, but he's still got the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck in their own end. Poked away in the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Abitonato. Puck up, grabbed by Hinestroza. Unloads a shot! And that's turned aside by Peterson. Slick feed. Lehigh Valley's got it across the line. Sends it across. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. And they'll start with possession. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Takes that pass back at the point. No room for that one to get through. All alone! Oh, a beautiful save of the play! And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Here's the change. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. The Phantoms get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Smith. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a short pass to Smith. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this, already the first goal of the game, and just try to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done, and that would have been the message from the coach earlier today, James, because you want to make sure that you set the tone, you control the pace of play, and you find a way to get on the board first. Gets in front of it. They fight for it along the boards. Taken along the wall by Avon. Winston's moving it ahead. Moves it to the middle, and that doesn't connect. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Puck sent over to Ensigns. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves it quickly over to Ensigns. Oh, what a bad save by Peterson. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The Phantoms win the defensive zone faceoff. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Oh, look at this, here they come, they've got numbers. Great defensive effort with the stick. Moves it to Kajakovic. With possession along the wall. Sends it over to Kosho. On man rush. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. For the one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're short-handed, and they've got to find a way to kill it off. Lehigh Valley set in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. On a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Here's a chance! Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. 
And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Loses his balance on the play. Tries to get it over to Lazinski. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Lehigh Valley's got a hold of it against the wall. Going with a stop. Lundquist's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Competence recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Puck scooped up by Gartner. Came up with a nice save. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time? You want to take space? Goaltender does it makes a save. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Takes it from the right side. The Penguins get their man back into the box. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity, and really, timing is everything, so they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Penguins lead it 1-0. Quick feed to Brooks. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's looking to break out of their own end. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. With possession along the wall. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Lehigh Valley's got the puck. Quick pass to Lazinski. Picked up along the boards by Ansons. Moves it in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Look out, they can create some trouble here. Extra attackers on the ice with the delayed penalty looming. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. And the power play is struggling. you got to get a screen in front, and it has to be with good timing and recognize when that shot is coming. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Scooped up along the wall by Henestroza. Trying to get it out. And they get the puck out and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Denies him in close. The Phantoms will play it from the defensive zone. Great reach with the poke check by Smith. And they send it down the ice. This power play only has time for one more rush. They'll have to play with urgency and not just skate the puck, but move it fast. With the steal. Anson's is up and ready to go. Looks for Scranton's penalty killers get their man out of the box. Sometimes when you're up by one and you get a call again, you can sit back on your heels and, and really allow the PP unit to take advantage of you. But not this group. They attack it at all. Good job by them. Blumquist opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. And they take possession here in the offensive zone in time to go on the attack. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got a hold of it along the wall. Across the line and on the attack. Quick feed down low. Here's a shot. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Oh, what a slick stop by Peterson. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the free square with the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Peterson's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that club save. Here's a change. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's won the draw, no goal to work. Hammers won. A fantastic save by Peterson. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to trap and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks 
looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're shorthanded. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Scores! And they capitalize with the extra player on the ice, and it's a power play goal. Well, using the advantage of having extra ice available to them, James, that's why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's on a mission tonight. Now up by two here, still in the first. Well, they've really controlled the puck, and in fact, they've dominated throughout the first 20 minutes of the game, James. They've had their opponent chasing, and when they chase, they put the puck to the net. They've had great shooting opportunities, and they've taken them. Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. Picks up the puck. The Phantoms get a hold of the puck along the boards. Coughs it up on the play. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Penguins play into the point. And that's wide of the net. Well, he looks to get this one off quickly and just gets up under the puck. And that one sails right over the net. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game. And you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Here they are on the attack. when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing and that's exactly what's happening right now. We don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Allison's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. And he keeps possession. Here's a short pass to hit a shows up. Denies him on the slaughter. Takes the pass. Lehigh Valley's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hat Giveaway Night is right around the corner. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Marlies have had a strong start to this game. I mean, they possess the puck, and they've had their opponent on their heels all night long, and they've been chasing because of that possession time. When you chase the puck, you open up lanes, and you wear your opponent down. That's exactly what they did, and they've attacked the net. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Steps inside the line. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Moves it quickly over to Abigail. Oh, pokes it away. Gutsy move, but it pays off. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Into the offensive end now. Sends the pass in front, and that's intercepted. 
intercepted. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Gains the zone. There's a shot. Scores. And look who's at it again. They are really turning up the heat. Uh, so creative and free. And the reason why you can play free, because you're playing with a ton of confidence, not afraid to put the puck to the net and, of course, retrieve it. a game tonight and we are far from over here too well yeah and it's a 200 foot game it's complete because not only are they putting up some huge numbers on the board they're also protecting their goaltender on defense finding a way to have good posture when they need it and hey retrievals everything when you have the puck the other team doesn't picking up steam in the offensive zone quick shot the penguins take it along the wall a difficult time tonight, James. He struggled in the net and the way he's handling the puck, but how about some help in front of him? I mean, his defense, the forwards, everyone, a collective unit that really hasn't been firing on all cylinders. Takes a shot. Oh, he gets in front of that to make a great save. Moves it to Fadoon. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And does it again. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied with the glove by Peterson. The Penguins have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Cuts to the front. Blocked in traffic. Keeps a hold of the puck. Smith's taking it from his own end. Sends it over to Savorna. Control here. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Puck clears the zone and they'll be forced to regroup. He's got a step. He's the post. Uh, and what an opportunity there as he looks to shoot that puck. Oh. He's in good position. He can see exactly where he wants to go. Just misses. Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Here's a chance. Blocker saved by Peterson. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Oh, and a quick stop. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Evan Donato's got him along the wing. Wilson's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here for your captain settling everyone down? Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. 
Wilkes-Barre Scranton's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. Made the save on the play. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it up there. What relentless pressure comes up with a monster save in front. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as... Yeah, you got to sense this was coming. That's a dangerous play, James, and you can't have any of that in the game, in particular when you're the one who's just received it. You got a player down, he's injured. You knew that was going to be answered for. Well, a spirit and strap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking the thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. Uh, something needed to happen to change the momentum within this game, and that fight is a result of a bit of frustration and also trying to spark your bench. You know the game isn't over yet. You're not willing to concede. And if you're not willing to concede, you got to get something going. They've got the debris all cleared up off the ice, and both teams step in for the faceoff. Confidence, quick stick, lands with the puck here at center. Some solid defensive work in the own end with the poke check. Quick feed to Gardner. Here's a chance! Fantastic save! Gardner's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot. James, James, you want to get your starter out of the net. You want to reset your group. Try and see if you can garner some momentum, and it might come off of a save by your goaltender who's come in relief, but unfortunately that doesn't happen. The team just isn't playing well, and another one winds up in the back of the net. The Penguins still have a lot of time left in this game to even make this even more lopsided, but Cheryl, late here in the second, they are done. Well, it's pretty hard to believe that you start with the adrenaline running, you got the competitive juices flowing, and there is no lag in their play been a consistent effort, and they simply have lit their opponent on fire. Lehigh Valley's in transition. Quick pass to Lisinski. Oh, and save on the play! Whoa! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's had the better scoring opportunities, and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. The Phantoms will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Stop that one. Good shot. Here's a shot. Oh, and he reaches out with the glove save. Wow. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. The Penguins continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. Avon's won the draw there on the attack. Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build off that last shift. Lehigh Valley's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're gonna have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Feeds it to Hittestroza. Puck picked up by Smith. On the attack along the boards. Hittestroza's got it deep in the offensive end. By when the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Played big in the moment there. The Penguins move to the offensive zone. Here's a blast! Oh, puts it wide! Moves inside! Takes a bump but hangs on. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Receives the pass. Gets a piece of it 
able to make the save. Denies him again. Get it out. Dished on over Tavon. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Mete. Traps the puck away. The Penguins have it now. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Mete. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. The Penguins will play it from the point. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Lehigh Valley, he's got to find a way to reset and refocus. Almost look at it as another game within the game. Scores! Rips it off the pipe and he got it! Wow! They almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Phantoms finally get some momentum going their way now. Can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back-to-back -to -back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for ways to be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes energy. And that carries off a body in traffic. Brooks grabs the puck inside his own territory. Lehigh Valley's on the attack. Fires it! Play. We can see that he got a piece of it, but just not enough, and it squeaks through to the net. Lehigh Valley's been outworked all night long, but they finally got something they can push back with now. Yeah, they got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one. And that's going to start with some hard work, the good old intangibles, and the feeling that they can get back in it. It all starts with that. Scores! And my, oh my, how things have suddenly changed here! Ah, uh, it's the magic of one goal and the impact it can have, James. You go from a situation where you think you're out of it, and now all of a sudden you believe you're back in it. Complete change of the dynamic of the game. The Phantoms have found a spark here late in the second. Let's see if they can build on it now. They're going to need more than a spark to get back in this one, but it'll certainly start it off as a two-goal deficit is better than a three. Slides the puck over. And that banks off a stick. Gains the slow along the right wall. attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Carpenter's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. I love the 1-3-1 three, one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Lehigh Valley's looking to break out. Taken by Hinestroza. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. And he takes the pass. And he takes a shot. Oh, that'll get the fans on their feet. What a stop with the glove. Evan Donato's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Wilkesbury Scranton's got it, and they're on the attack. Throws it on goal. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine. Is it, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. Power play execution is all about retrieval and owning the puck. If you don't possess it, you can't score. But it comes right off of the faceoff. And how often do you work on these set plays where you're trying to get the look that you want and then you convert? Beautiful play all the way around. Wilkesbury Scranton's having a night, as, as some kids might say, Cheryl. They're balling out there here in period number two. Just loving it out here, James. I mean, they have had control of the play. They've been so dominant. It almost feels effortless. And when it feels effortless, you don't want it to stop. And they've got the intermission looming, and you know they want to stay on the ice. Now he takes it over the line. Poked away in the defensive end. And 
that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. With 70 stores and 14 restaurants, Delvin's has it all. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. Here we go, we're underway in the third. Everybody having fun getting in on the offensive action. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now play. How do you view this one? Wilkes-Barre Scranton's been driving play all game. They sit with a comfortable lead with 20 minutes to go here, and they need to make sure they manage the puck and make smart decisions, and then they can call this one a win. Oh, to Nyson with the paddle save! Wilkes-Barre Scranton's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Centering feed! Takes a shot! Scores! A huge goal here has put them right back into this one! Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. Lehigh Valley's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. For the two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. In close, turns it away. And he puts it wide of the net. Well, and this is a near miss, James. You're trying to be accurate. You know how good the goaltenders are, and you just miss by a few inches. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Handles the puck. Brooks has three points in the game, and he's been so fun to watch. You can tell that he just wants to be on the ice, and he's uplifting everyone. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. And then he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Here's a shot. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Maroney's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Takes a wrist shot. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot, and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you've got to be fast, you've got to be quick, and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Confidence won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Looks for his threatens coming along the wall. Puck is dumped in. That'll allow the defensive pairings to switch things up. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Lehigh Valley's looking to continue putting more and more shots on net, but they're going to have to finish one of these chances as they trail in the third. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And now it's grabbed by Ensigns. And he takes the feed. Along the half wall with the puck. And here's a shot. He scores! Well, who needs the ice cream cake when you snipe on your own birthday? Yeah, it would have been seafood for me, but Ooh. I certainly know that if my grandparents were in the building, it would have been 10 bucks when I was a kid. <laughs> the Penguins continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. have also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. The Phantoms played along the boards. Moves it to the middle, and he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Ball out! The Phantoms have worked so hard throughout the game to generate offense, and it's just been wired off the post so many times. They're making their own music out there. Anson takes it into the offensive end. The Penguins have it from the corner. And a big stick save by the goaltender. 
You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny those own shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Directs it on over Tavon. Looks for his scranton has got control of it now from the road end. Looks like we got a delay triple penalty coming up here. And trying to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. And everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession to the penalty box for the home team. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Brooks moves the puck into the attacking area from the left side. Sits it to the middle! Oh, he comes up with a stop! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Gardner's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Confidence won the draw inside his own end. Wilkesbury Scranton's ready to go on the attack. Takes the puck. Here's a short pass to Samarukov. And he shut the door on that last play. Quick pass across to Brooks. And he takes the dish. Slips the pass in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Here's a shot! Breaks up the play by getting in front of it! And he gets a piece of that one and denies it! Look at this attack here in the own zone! like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity face off coming up they can smell blood here i think yeah they need to put their foot on the gas pedal because they recognize that the goaltender he was under seas james and he really didn't get a chance to get much rest sends it down low and he slides it quickly to mete and he takes the feed Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Henestroza. Wilkesbury Scranton's gained possession along the boards. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. From the point, looks to make something happen. Henestroza's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. The Penguins played along the wing. Jocelyn for the puck, but still maintains possession. Great pressure on the offensive end by Pole. Wilkesbury Scranton's got it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Puts it on net. He got all of that one. The Penguins have it behind the cage. Moves it to Smith. Oh, what a save in front. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Here comes the sentence. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. Lehigh Valley's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Wow, well, and you're on the PK unit. You have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Knocked off the puck. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Let's get the call here. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top.
two-man advantage coming up here. Playing with a two-player advantage on the five-on-three is such an opportunity. But you have to have a sense of urgency that goes along with it. You don't want to be static. You do want to force the coverage to have to move a little bit. Tries it to the crease! And that's deflected. Competent stick handling in his own zone. And they score! The Phantoms don't have time on their side, but they're starting to scratch back. They're scratching back, they're clawing back, but they're going to have to take some offensive chances. D are going to have to start jumping in, opening up lanes, and creating odd man rushes. Shot! And he cuts up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Gardner's ready for the draw on this man advantage. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Trying to clear the puck. Oh, did they need that getting the puck out? That's a great defensive play at this time of the game, James. Listen, when it's not in your zone, they can't score. That's the best play in my mind at this time. Here's a shot. And that carries right off the mask. Anson's is almost back in the play. Looks for his threatens back to even strength. Huge effort by their penalty killing unit. A critical time of the game, James, and this PK unit, they get out there, they embrace the pressure, and they get the job done. Cut grab by Corpo. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Great four check by Gardner. Quick feed to Hidastrosa. Sends a pass over. What a steal in his own end. Lehigh Valley's got it across the line. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Lehigh Valley's got the puck against the half wall. And that shot gets caught in traffic. From center, they get into the attacking area. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Anson setting up against the wall. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Picked up along the wall by Marodi. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Got eyes on the play. There's another consecutive save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. They've got the extra attacker out here for the faceoff. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. Other Donato's won it in their own end. Back to the point, they set it up. Oh, what a stop on the play! Gets all of it with the paddle. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Scores into the empty net! Pounder, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. Listen, I was on the back end. I didn't have hands, so when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out, <laughs> fist pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. As that empty net goal went in, everyone on the bench and on the ice knew that that put the game to bed. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Let's get the call. This penalty is a frustration call. You're down by a few and end of the game and you take one, that's all it is.
tonight an impressive one, and it really started with special teams, Cheryl. Yeah, getting on the power play so many times, but what I loved about it, James, is that they kept the PK unit guessing. They changed it up, and they made adjustments, and that's why they scored. They're giving us the go-home cue, so we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time here on EA Sports.